Trash to treasure, trash to treasure, trash to treasure. Here we all cash me. I got gold nuggets, I got small dimes, I got me some quarters, and I'm gonna, gonna cash in. Here we all cash me. Welcome to Trash to Treasures, where someone else is trash. It's someone else. Come on now, you're never going to believe this, guys. Look at this gorgeous piece of furniture right here. This thing, except for one little spot right here, which is probably just a scuff from moving it, this mattress is in fantastic condition. Look at what this is, guys. Sealy, Sealy Orchard Luxury Firm Black Edition, guys. This thing is worth some cash. Look at this, another scuba diving mask and picture frames. I mean, look at this, Marlin head, these gotta be worth some cash. Let's get into it tonight. Oh my gosh, guys, no one told me it's my birthday tonight, because guess what these are right here, baby? P-Rod, Paul Rodriguez Nikes, and they look like they're still legitimate. All right, guys, what's up? So I came behind Barnes & Noble again, random Wednesday night and guys they have thrown away good condition books this time no covers ripped off we got hardbacks a lot of seasonal stuff a lot of Christmas cards Hanukkah cards this whole box right here full brand new sealed Christmas cards that they just don't want to hold in till next year look at that fourteen dollars for one stack there looks like there's probably twenty in here you could just do a big lot on Amazon Fulfillment by Amazon. This whole box is full. More over there. I'm going to shift through this a little bit, grab what I can, and get out. Alrighty, guys. Make a long story short. So I grabbed two boxes from Barnes & Noble. Two boxes. And one whole box is, like, filled. Again, Christmas cards, Hanukkah cards, all sorts of seasonal cards, right? Mostly Christmas. Some books. It seems like they just literally dumped all of their Christmas inventory. Now, they're probably going to bring some of this stuff back if it's, you know, only like, you know, a year old. You know, you never know. Christmas cards, it's not like you can outdate Christmas cards. There's no, like, 2014 on them. So anyway, guys, I took two boxes of them. There was so much more. But instead of loading my whole entire car up and then going back to my complex, figuring that it's not worth anything and then dumping it all, and making my neighbors upset because now the whole can is full of Barnes & Noble stuff. Yeah, sure, I could just go back and throw it back in there. But if there's secret cameras viewing that, they're seeing me dump stuff. You know, it just it looks bad. Anyway, so make a long story short, I have two boxes in the back of my car right now. I'm going to go home, check on eBay, Amazon. You could also do a big shipment of like you know tons of Christmas cards on Craigslist and just you know so you don't have to ship anything 20 different trips to the post office it's totally up to you now my brother's been doing FBA fulfillment by Amazon he loves it because these products are brand new I could literally just package them up in a package in a box send them off to Amazon and they could start selling them and believe it or not people are buying Christmas stuff year-round guys well guys back at Barnes & Noble again look at this guys two boxes one Bottom down there, two full brand new wrapping paper. This is brand new wrapping paper, guys. Completely full, stacks and stacks, and then more right there. Absolutely crazy, guys. This is probably, you know, five bucks a tube, and there's probably, my gosh, 50 tubes right there. Look at that. Trash. Man, they're throwing away a lot of cool stuff lately. All right, guys, back behind Barnes & Noble's again. Now we have a complete halfway filled dumpster with brand new magazines. Of course, these are all last months that are taken off the shelf, and now they've put new magazines up. But you have brand new sealed. Look at the U.S. News. Those are like 4 or $5 a piece. Stacks, stacks. I just took a whole, there's another one whole entire stack of men's fitness I took just in case I can sell on eBay. I'm going to do a little more research. This is the second time I've seen Barnes & Noble throw away stacks. At least it's in the white recycle one, so these will get recycled, so they're not going to a landfill.
Just crazy though. Wow guys, now you understand why Barnes & Noble is becoming one of my hot spots I like to hit about three times a week. Tell you the truth, last week, I think I've hit it four times in one week. Now, going back to back nights, there's always a surprise. Now, this is the same with apartment complexes as well, but with businesses, especially certain big holidays or whatnot, they are literally just exiting some of their inventory, and especially as the seasons change. Now, you saw some previous footage about all the seasonal stuff. Well, the wrapping paper turns out, guys, that's like $8 per roll of wrapping paper. Okay, my mom loved them. I was able to give them to her. Christmas cards, I've done a little bit of some synopsis about it, but I haven't quite got that dialed in yet because it's seasonal as well. Either if you want to make bank, you hold on to it. If you want to sell it for half price, you know, even four bucks for a brand new set instead of 14, you can make that money as well. So anyway, back tonight, guys, magazines, 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 ridiculous. Again, I took about 20 copies of Men's Fitness. So I'm going to see if that Men's Fitness magazine is going for, let's say, $2 with shipping. Maybe I can do a bulk bundle for someone who wants to offload it. I think they can make a little bit more money. I'd sell the whole thing, you know, for 10 bucks plus shipping so I can make 10 bucks out of it. That's worth it to me. Shove it in a flat rate box, call it a day. Who knows if that's going to happen. That's why I only took one stack. I got to do my research. Now I'm heading to apartment complexes. It's about 12.57 a.m. And currently filming of this, it is President's Day weekend Monday. I didn't go out last night Sunday. I went out Monday. I typically, on big holidays, I typically, especially if it's a three-day weekend holiday, I typically do better on the Monday night. So wish me luck. I'm going to go hunting about maybe four complexes. And hopefully I'll show you guys some really, really cool finds. Stay tuned. Oh, snap, 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 snap those fingers. Look at this hot piece of product right here, guys. Are you joking me? This is a fish tank just chilling. Look at this thing in great condition. We got, you know, nothing down below. I think they put everything inside the tank. Look at the light. We have a net. We have rocks and coral and pumps and cleaners. This thing all day long, probably five bills. All right, guys, so something I wanna show you real quickly here before I throw it away. Now, this is what I call a grab bag. And you might be saying, what's a grab bag? Well, a grab bag is a see-through bag. It doesn't even have to be see-through. It can be a black bag, a, you know, regular bag like this. But anyway, something pokes at your curiosity inside the bag. Now, of course, you see trash, but there's some curiosity in there. And so instead of going through the bag right there, making commotion and a ruckus, and looking a little bit shady going through someone's bag, what you want to do is you want to grab the bag, and as long as it's not leaking anything, throw it in your car and deal with it when you get back to the house. So that's exactly what I did. What intrigued my curiosity was sticking out of the top of this bag right here was this woman's wallet. And I don't know exactly what the name brand is. It's uh, T-N-A-N-E-O, T-I-N, no, T-I-G-N-A-N-E-L-L-O. And there it is right there. There's the pronunciation. Anyway, genuine leather. It needs to be cleaned up a little bit. But uh, that was poking out of the top. So I grabbed that. And what else was poking out of the top was this Justin Bieber CD. Now, again... There was banana peels, some orange, some nasty stuff in there. So you, I put on my gloves and I was careful. But I was able to, there was individual bags inside this bag with other items. And some of those other items are right here. We got a couple packages of Nutrilite Osteokeeper uh, vitamins. We got Glycosamine. We got CalMag D. We got Osteokeeper. This one, eh, it seems like there's only about 10 in there. These seem like they're full. There was one more thing. Now, I would have been semi-intrigued if I just found this stuff, but there is one more thing I haven't showed you right here. Let me take you upstairs and show you what I found inside the grab bag, baby. All right, guys, so for the grand finale of what was in that bag after that boring stuff, well, a couple cool things. 
you are never going to believe what was just chilling right next to some random uh, supplements and some bodybuilding magazines. Guys, you're never going to believe it. Check that out right there. Look at that. Oh my gosh. Now, the reason they threw it away is because it needs to be cleaned. And that's why I have my products here. I'm going to be cleaning it. But guys, this thing is still in great condition. Now, this is just some dried up makeup. It was next to some makeup and some other facial products. And so this is just like mascara or foundation that's been kind of caked on here. And so most likely they're like, oh man, that's nasty. Let's just throw it away. But guys, that's just makeup. That can be removed. This is leather. It can be cleaned. So I got my tools right here. I'm going to be cleaning this guy. Guys, take a look at that. We have the Gucci logo right here, bottom left corner. There is a serial number that is right inside one of these flaps here. Let's see if we can take a look here. I think that's it. Yep, there it is right there where my finger is, those little numbers there. Now, you're wondering now, I've actually wanted one of these wallets for a long time. And you're wondering why I'm not going to keep it. Well, guys, this is a very expensive wallet. And yes, I would love to have one. I owned a legitimate Louis Vuitton that was very, very pricey. I think it was around over $400 wallet. This one should be around over $400 as well, brand new. The reason I just, I'm going to sell it because I want something else. I don't really want that much money sitting in my back pocket and all my stuff can't even fit in this. I have movie rewards cards, coupons, driver's license, credit cards, etc. The stitching is legit, just a little bit of creasing, but I could maybe smash it with a book and crease it back for a couple days. So yeah, I'm hoping to trade up this plus a couple other items. I'm trying to get my hands on a DJI drone. So wish me luck on that. And also inside the grab bag was some Cytomax workout supplement stuff. There were actually a couple bodybuilding magazines in there as well. Um, and then some of these things I'm actually going to keep. Ultra Sure, Dry Block, SPF 70. Uh, there was a Makia Magwaki Sawzall. Looks brand new. Looks like someone, you know, never would have um, uh, used that. Um, let's see here. We also have some hair paste. And some of that hair paste is kind of expensive, so I kept that. And then also some of this cleansing milk rejuvenation um, looks like facial facial stuff anyway I was just gonna kind of intrigued upon that natural beauty I mean it looks like halfway through it's a pump thing you know I mean if it's lotion it should be a good still so again guys all of that came from my curiosity when I saw these lying up there on that sill it was the same cans peered over saw the grab bag, went for it. And the next night after the grab bag, I actually went back because I was intrigued if they were gonna huck anything else away. And I was able to score this guy's Motorola T uh, DCT64123. And these are worth, I looked on eBay, they're going for about 60 bucks with shipping, um, 30 with 30 shipping. It didn't come with a cord, but I got plenty of those. And it did not come with a remote, but I should be able to sell that for easily, as long as it's in working condition, I should be able to sell that for about 50 bucks, including shipping, minus the remote, which unfortunately it didn't come with. But still, great score for that. And something else I want to show you guys, this was the same night as this. This one was later on in the evening. During the daytime, I hit one more complex up, and I was able to grab these guys, some women's cowboy boots. And they're very, very nice. The bottoms are a little bit warm, but not too bad. You know, looks like they just wore them out on the town a couple nights. The heels actually look really, really nice. And let's see if we can find a name brand for these. These look like they are Cor Coral, uh, Coral Boots, and they're made in Mexico. Uh, it says right there, Coral Boots, made in Mexico. And these are size 7.5M, and they are women's boots, I am pretty sure. Hey, you guys, check this out right here. So you're going to be excited about this. I've just popped these on eBay, and these are parts that literally have been sitting in my garage for like six months, no joke. I'm not sure why I've never gotten around to them, but to tell you the truth, I do a lot of diving, 
And then if it's nothing that really intrigues my mind, sometimes I just literally shove it in a drawer and then later pop it on eBay. Now I need to knock that off. I need to find and I need to list quickly so that I don't stack up my garage full of stuff. What I love about small items is that, again, this is my size of my hand right here. Look at how small these parts are. Check this out, guys. I was diving behind the bike shop near my house. And guess what, guys? After doing research, right here, these little itty bitty bike parts, okay? What these are, these are actually electronic shifter, shifter things. Not like derailers or anything like that, but it's like electronic shift boxes for derailers. This one right here, this and this alone, $99 on eBay all day long, guys. Brand new, sealed. This one, $30 all day long, eBay sealed. So pumped up about this. I popped these on eBay, auction, one day auction, $99, uh, free shipping. I should probably get ballpark $120 for it because they are brand new. I was so excited about this, guys. Literally, my honest opinion, guys, is... These were inside these boxes. I came across these boxes and just jiggled them and there was stuff inside them. So I was like, oh, whatever, I'll research it later. And I just took them. I personally think that it was a huge mistake on an employee's part throwing away the boxes, thinking they were empty. Or I believe the employee threw them away and was going to come back and get them out of the trash for his own bike. And guess who found them before the employee could come back? I, again, I don't know. I don't know. But come on. Why would a bike shop throw away, you know, we're talking 130 of parts right here. Their shop actually probably charges more. This is probably 150 plus in the shop. So it just doesn't make any sense. But wanted to document this before I ship this off once it sells. Hey, what's up, guys? Okay, I'm behind a retail store. And look at all this paint can caramel corn popcorn and I looked at the date it literally expired I'm not sure when the filming of this is going to be but today is February 4th 2015 the popcorn bucket popcorn you see right there is Best Buy 2-1 February 1st 2015 literally expired three days ago as you guys know food is always perfectly fine uh, even a couple months after, especially sugary popcorn like this. Look at how many buckets are in here. Each of these is $15 per bucket. I just grabbed two of them. I might grab a couple more because I know they're going to be uh, still good for a couple months after this. But also, look at this, guys. Look at this comforter cover right here. The thread count looks absolutely amazing. I'm probably going to snag this. This absolutely looks absolutely wonderful. And we have a down pillow right here. I mean, it looks really, really good, guys. Again, I'm doing a little bit more retail tonight. I'm going to be checking out some spots. And so first cans of the night, excellent, excellent score. So I'm going to lift this comforter cover out of here. And there's some paintings down here. I might jump in here, see what's in this bag right here. But I'll keep you guys tuned. All right, guys. I want to holler at you a little bit here as I'm going to my next cans. And I got uh, eyes and ears on the wheel, so we got to be a little careful. It's kind of late right now, so if there's any cops out, they'll probably be in this vicinity. So anyway, also that same complex, I found the Nike shoes. I actually found an aluminum bike frame. I think it was a Schwinn, so it wasn't really high-end dollar, but it had the cranks and pedals and everything, and the seat post, and it was literally just shoved in there. They took out, you know, all the handlebars, etc. But I do believe it was just again a kind of a cheaper Schwinn, so I left that there. Uh, plus, there were some beer bottles stacked on top. So if I was gonna get it, I would have made a lot of noise fishing that thing out. Now, also, as you saw, I was behind retail. Now, the reason I'm doing a little bit more retail tonight than average, I checked out Office Depot, a couple other stores. Now, some of these big stores like Bed Bath & Beyond and stuff like that, they actually have those compactors, guys, and the compactors are sealed up. I couldn't even find a way in, so I said scratch it. Toys R Us had a compactor, but Office Depot, 
uh, Ulta uh, Beauty Supplies. And so I checked out some of those places as well. I found the popcorn, found the comforter cover with pillow set. I did check out Office Depot because I was very curious. Now the reason I'm even attempting this again, I have in the past with not too much luck, but the reason I went out again tonight for retail is because I'll try to link it in the comment section below or in the description box. There is a guy that uh, he was in a Wired Magazine article and this guy is from Austin, Texas and I believe his last name is Malone, and he ballparks that he's gonna make $250,000 dumpster diving. Again, that is correct, you just heard me right there. $250,000 dumpster diving this year alone. I'm pretty sure he goes out about five days a week, but the article will blow your mind. He's already a rich guy, he's an IT security specialist. Read the article definitely got me pumped up to come out tonight guys stay with you more finds coming hey guys take a look at this right here I'm behind office max office depot look at this beautiful brown leather chair right beautiful little knob here and it is raining right now so I'm gonna go home because dumpster driving kind of stinks right now but anyway guys look at what they did so you can't return it and you can't even use it man slash the chair handles slash the seat so again, so you can't reuse this or take it back. But look at this chair, guys. This is probably a 200 something dollar chair. I mean, if you really wanted to, you could take this stuff, if yours broke. I mean, there's wheels on the bottom of it. I mean, that just seems like a waste. Very, very wasteful. All right, baby, here we go. We're at GameStop again. What do we see in here? Here we go, guys. Are you ready for this? Look at how excited I am. Check this out, Battlefield 4. Xbox 360. Wow, let's open it up, baby. Boom, it's there. Holy smokes, what do we have here, guys? Is this number two right here? Let's pick this guy on out of here. You gotta be joking me, guys. Look at this thing, more a boogie. Oh my goodness, this one's gonna be for the wife right here. Look, at it comes with a leash and everything. Look at this, guys. Oh, yeah, this is top quality right here. This is a filtration system, water channels. Look at this. Oh, my gosh. I didn't know I was having a baby because look at this bad boy right here. This thing is genuine wood all day long. Look at the condition on this. I'm thinking, I'm thinking two bills. Two bills easily. Look at this condition. I maybe didn't win the five pick lottery, but I sure won the baby lottery, if you know what I'm saying. <laughs> All right, I hope you enjoyed the episode. Okay, if you did, please like, please subscribe, please like, like that, hit that like button. All right. <laughs>